channel is your girl Jenny Sims and today you guys are back again in my kitchen I'm so excited guys to show you guys what I have planned for today So today guys I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my shrimp sauce Honestly this is just how I make my shrimp sauce but today I decided to put some changes Add some few touches to this recipe so I decided to add some chicken And honestly guys this is a very 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 exciting day for me And this recipe is one of my best meal ever Like this food is out of this world so if you are watching this video and if you are hungry better still just go straight to the description box because this recipe the ingredients are going to be listed down below in the description box so check it out and maybe you might want to join me as i as i cook this meal but if not check out your notepad check out your pen and jot down every single thing because you want to try this recipe i assure you this recipe is actually one of the best meals that you've ever tasted in your whole life. Your man is going to thank you for this. Your family will thank you for this. So don't you miss out on this. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this sauce. So this sauce looks similar to the curry um, shrimp sauce that you normally see. But it has a little bit of tweaks. Like I changed a few things in this recipe. You guys are going to see in a few minutes what I mean by that. It's just something that I kind of like tried on my own. I decided to try it one day and it tasted so good. It was so, so nice. Like everybody loved it. And I was like, hmm, this is something that I want to do on my channel. Let me share my recipe with the world. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jennifer and you are here on Cook With Me. So without further ado, let me introduce you guys to the ingredients that we're going to be using for today's recipe. So let's go. So guys, these are the ingredients all laid out so i've already cut everything washed everything so i know i don't want this video to be long or anything so um the first thing here in this bowl is my chicken so i have some chicken um you can use chicken breast i just use the soft part of the chicken here so i already marinated this chicken and what i have in here is just some pepper flakes um some seasoning and um fresh garlic chopped fresh garlic or maybe crushed fresh garlic yeah and that's basically all i have in here with some salt and i've marinated this for an hour so here i have my shrimp already marinated for about an hour and 30 minutes or so so i also have some pepper flakes fresh um, garlic in it i have some seasoning as well and some cinnamon so yeah that's all i have in here and i use some oil to like marinate it together and i left it in the refrigerator for an hour 30 minutes so that's all i have in here and here i have my chopped onions chopped tomatoes chopped yellow bell pepper green bell pepper and red bell pepper this is all that we're going to be using for our sauce it just helps like give the sauce some flavor you know some color and all of that and also here I have the seasoning. This is the seasoning that I use for my um, shrimp and chicken. So it has some black pepper, cloves, red chilies, cardamom and turmeric and some cumin and bay leaves in it. So this seasoning is really, really good. It gives your food or your meal a very, very nice, rich flavor and a good taste. This is the cube, um, the seasoning cube that we're going to be using. So this nut cube actually looks different. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, part of my nails, um, I beat it off last night. So this nut cube looks um, different from the one we have in Nigeria, but it's it's okay. So this is the vegetarian nut cube. I prefer this one to even the normal nut cubes that they have here. So this is the vegetarian nut cube and this is really good. So that's what I'll be using for this sauce. And here I have my fresh garlic. I'll be crushing this later for the sauce as well. And over here, guys, I have my hot sauce. This is my sriracha hot chili sauce. This is my favorite kind of chili sauce. I'm almost running out of it because I use this thing a lot. I'm going to replenish this immediately it finishes but this is really really good for any kind of food you're cooking or even if you want to eat it with chips or with chicken it's really really good so this is nice i'll be using it for this food as well and i also have another type of um hot sauce here i just like to combine this because i have it in the house not that i like it or anything but because i have it i just tend to use it you know so i'll be combining these two for this sauce and over here guys i have my cooking cream we're going to be using this um 
as well for this meal so this is my cooking cream and in case you're on a diet don't worry this is low fat so it's totally okay and here i have my organic coconut milk this organic coconut milk is like so good it smells so good so fresh it's 100 percent organic no preservatives whatsoever in it and i already used it for a meal before but i have some still left so i'm going to be using it and also i have my organics coconut cream i just like the organics brand because it's so so good and it doesn't taste weird like other coconut creams that i've tried so yeah this is really really good so i'm going to be using this as well as like i said i've used this before and as you can see the water is really like it was in the refrigerator so it's frozen so it's kind of like separated so um the cream has actually gone mi and mixed with the water but we'll sort that out eventually and here i have my lower pack soft butter this is the kind of butter that i like to use i've already like used this a lot it's almost finished in it so yeah that's the butter we're going to be using for this meal and over here i have my spice village rice today i'm not going to be using basmati rice because i'm tired of basmati rice and you know basmati i'm just i'm tired of the taste i want something different so i'm going to be using this spice village rice for this meal and that's all for the ingredients that's all the ingredients we're going to be using today so without further ado guys now that we are all introduced We've met our ladies, so let's get cooking. So now that we have our butter nicely dissolved into the pot, I'm just going to start adding my shrimps right inside. So now that I have it in the pot, I'm cooking it slowly. My heat is at 800. Now I'll be cooking this for like close to five minutes now. So I'm just going to turn the side. And mind you, you don't want to overcook your shrimps, guys. You don't want to do that. So make sure you time your shrimps. You just want to cook each side for like five minutes. So I'm going to just turn it now. Our shrimp is even almost ready now. So I'm just going to turn it the other side and let it cook for five more minutes or even less Thank you. 
so now that we are done with our shrimp, I see how it's looking all juicy, all creamy, all nice. Trust me, this is not your curry shrimp. No, nope. This is my own recipe. This is my own curry shrimp. You see, no atom of curry in this food. You see how creamy, how juicy this food is looking? I promise you guys, if you try this meal, you're going to thank me. You know, I want to hear you guys in the comment section, like, how are you guys feeling this dish? Because honestly, I can't wait. Already I've tasted this and it tastes so good. So now we're going to move on to the next stage of this cooking, which is making our rice, okay? This food is looking all nice and I've set it aside. Honestly, guys, you guys need to test this food. It's looking so good. It tastes so so good oh my god this is nice if you try this trust me you're never going to try curry shrimp ever again this is the recipe you're going to stick to so now let me just go ahead and boil my rice and i'll see you guys when i'm dishing this food okay so see And here we have it guys, our final result. So this is our nicely cooked Oh my god, this food looks so delicious.